I walked in the front door. I called out for her. Hello? No answer. And then what? This movie is like a good puzzle. Sure uh, who done it? And it stars Benicio del Toro, Justin Timberlake, and Alicia That's Silverstone. Right. It's about a real estate mogul who finds the woman he is dating brutally murdered in a home she's showing. Joining me now is movie critic Kathy Kaiser. Kathy, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Back. Of course. Now this <laughs> is like the perfect thriller film, especially just in time for spooky season. It comes with so many twists and turns. And did I mention that it's on Netflix? I mean. It's a win-win. Exactly. It's a win-win. You don't even have to leave home to catch this incredible film. I like it. Okay. <laughs> what did you like about this film? Well, it's really, really some of Benicio Del Toro's best work, if you can believe that. Wow. He is incredible in this movie. Of course, who doesn't love Justin Timberlake? Uh, right? I mean, just a little eye candy for it, everybody. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It keeps you guessing the entire time, which I love, right? Like, it's a whodunit, and you really don't know till the very end who done it. Who done it? What I liked is that there was a portion of the film where you see everybody working on the case, and they each put in their bet for who's done right the murder. <laughs> right. Were you surprised at who you after finding out who? Uh, yeah, you don't find out till the very Literally end the of the end. film. I'm nervous. That's right? the best. Those are the best movies. Right? And it's so well written and it's so well acted and mm. yes. How creepy does it get? Because there were points where I was like, ooh, this is a good thriller. And then there were points I'm like, this is kind of on the border of horror. Just, Just a psychological bit. thriller. We'll oh, go with that. Yeah. Psychological thriller. Hmm. Okay. I was there, there were points I was watching the, the trailer this morning and there were uh -huh. points where the hair on my neck stood up. And you're like, oh right? Is well it, and they play on the name of the movie. The name of the movie is Reptile, right? So you think reptiles, but maybe there's a different meaning for that word in the process. But I as saw well. the girl with the tattoo on her back. Mm -hmm. Did she do it? Well, we can't give that away, oh. but no. No, <laughs> she said no. Okay, okay, we'll take it. <laughs> okay, well, it is spooky season. Oh, wait, 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 before we go to the next movie, uh, what popcorn are you giving us? <laughs> I'm giving this one four out of five. Hey, okay, we'll take four out of five. Four out of five. I like four out of five. I can't wait to watch this one. Um, Netflix actually kicked me off of my dad's account this week. So oh, no. Now I have to, oh, no. I got to go for we'll have to, yeah, we'll $15 have to. a month or whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll support you in, you know, the, in your you. Netflix, Thank right? you, I appreciate okay. it. All right, okay, well, our problem. next movie up on tap is, again, just in time for spooky season. And this literally, she says, this is kind of like Back to the Future, but it actually goes into the case of a 17-year-old girl who travels back to 1987 to stop a serial killer before he becomes a murderer. Take a look. Basically, I'm living that movie right now, which is how I know there's gonna be a murder tonight. <laughs> Hate time travel movies. They never make any sense. I love that they didn't believe her. <laughs> right? Right? She's no like, one believes you. her at all. Like, I'm trying to tell you, this really does happen. Can you not help me? Right? And I love the dramatic irony in all of it. Just, again, taking from the trailer, she's like, but, Mom, this isn't 1987. Nobody's going to kill me if I go out on Halloween night. Right? Like, your friends were. But then she quite literally goes back. Right. And, and sees tries her to mom. save them all, and no one's going to help her. Oh, my God. It's literally like... We're gonna take Halloween mm -hmm. and Back to the Future mm -hmm. and shove them together Ooh. and add in some humor as well. It's like, definitely gonna keep you're you laughing. laughing through the whole entire movie. Like when the whole theater's laughing, you're like, isn't this a slasher movie? <laughs> right? And it is. And I don't usually love slasher movies. Okay, that says right? a lot. Right? Who's in this one, Kathy? Well, Kiernan Shipka's mm -hmm. in it. I mean, who else? We Olivia got? Hull. There we go. Charlie Gillespie. And Julie Bowen, one of my favorites from Modern Family, nice. is in it as well. So nice. it's so, yeah. There is nothing about this movie that you're not going to enjoy. So you're giving it a good popcorn rating? I'm giving it three out of five. All right, there we'll take three out of five. It got a little slow, but yeah, it's fun. Okay. And I mean, and everybody who sees this movie on Amazon Prime mm -hmm. this weekend, another one you can stand and catch. I like that. We have two movies that'll keep us in, especially as we're enjoying this nice cool weather coming. Exactly, exactly, but yeah.
Lots Snuggle of fun. up, grab your popcorn, your wine, your chocolate, whatever you like to enjoy when you're kicking back, relaxing at home, and enjoy these two movies. It's if you're interested in learning more about what Hollywood has going on, you can find Matinee Chat with Kathy Kaiser online on Facebook and on X. And of course, we'll post all of her handles on our website at studiostl.tv.